Hi everyone. Uh, I hope everyone's doing well with uh, Corona season and uh, also the fact that 2021 literally started with uh, democracy collapsing. Uh, not to toot my own horn here, but uh, I guess me and Nihar kind of called it uh, during the first episode of the podcast. Uh, just wanted to bring that to light. No, I'm kidding. Um, but again, uh, before I get into like what I really want to talk about, I just wanted to bring up the capital attack for a second. And uh, honestly, what happened uh, was extremely unacceptable and disgusting. Uh, it was domestic terrorism, and honestly, that's the truth. Uh, I sure as hell don't condone anything that happened or any of the actions that took place inside of the Capitol building itself. And honestly, I think time will tell uh, what the long-term consequences of the event will be and how we as Americans uh, react to that. Um, but often, the way that we react to this resentment, in my opinion, has not been productive. And I think the silver lining in this whole... Uh, traumatic scenario to say the least is hopefully we can react better and hopefully with new government and new voices and fresh faces in the Senate and in the House uh, we can hopefully enact change and we can hopefully you know turn a new leaf uh, 2021 right so hopefully things go a little better but that's you know a political rant for another day and that's it for the political lecture. We can talk about that on another podcast. Uh, or feel free to check the first episode, as I mentioned earlier. It's called Is Democracy Dead? Uh, that has more of like unfiltered political takes. But I'm not going to plug the podcast. This isn't about that. So let's get into what I wanted to talk about. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about is a little bit of a story. Uh, so, so get ready. Um... Let's rewind a couple years ago, right? So 2018, what was like the popular song? Like Astro World was popular, you know? So like Can't Say was playing. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but a couple years ago, uh, so 2018, I think, this is summer of 2018, I was sitting in my backyard uh, and I was taking an ACT practice test. Uh, and, you know, it was one of those like really pretty like Bay Area summer days, you know, where it's like... The sun is shining and there's not like a cloud in the sky. So you can tell I was really, really focused on the practice test. Uh, ended up getting a 23 on the ACT. So, you know, by the way, uh, if anybody wanted to know, I don't think that's really a flex, but, you know, I'm trying. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I was sitting outside and taking the test. And honestly, at this particular point in my life, uh, I wanted to be a writer. Uh, that was the goal. That was the dream. I was applying to a bunch of film schools. I wanted to be the next... Uh, big Hollywood writer, you know, Indian American. I want to be the Indian version of Dalton Trumbo or Tarantino or uh, McKay or whoever. Uh, I, was, I just wanted to be a writer. Uh, I know those are directors. Trumbo's a writer, but I know those are directors. But anyway, uh, so I remember staring up at the sky, thinking about what I wanted to write about because I was really stuck at that point. Uh, I didn't really know what I wanted to write about, and I really didn't know um, what to write about. But I remember, like, just looking up at the sky and then down at my paper, and the idea just kind of clicked. You know what I mean? It was just, like, one of those things where it, it just a light bulb went off in my head. And it was just, like, write about you. Like, write about what you know and no one else can write about. And then it happened. Uh, Birchwood Avenue was born. Uh, the characters, the writing, everything just kind of flowed. Everything just worked. It felt... It felt natural, right? And I spent the next year really just crafting this story, spending time with these characters, more time than with probably my own friends, uh, you know, making extensive family trees of fake families, uh, writing the pilot episode and a bunch of other character development background stuff. Uh, but most importantly, I was making the characters in my story basically a part of my life and basically real in my head. Uh, I spent so much time with this project that I literally started calling some of my actual friends in real life some of the names of the characters. Uh, Nikhil, Victoria, Jaime, and Melody just kind of became like a part of who I was. They became a part of my life essentially. Uh, you can ask most of my close friends and at the time I would just spend hours talking about like shit that was happening in their fake world uh, but stuff that was like real to me. You know, it was, it was just weird. 
Uh, but I bet you guys are probably thinking like, what are you, what are you trying to say? Like, what's the point? So let me, let me, let me get to the point. This is the point. Uh, as a lot of you know, uh, I kind of had a breakup of sorts with writing. Uh, I kind of got over it. Um, it kind of got to the point last year that I would have to force myself to write. It became like a job. And I've always been told my whole life that when something becomes like a job, it's clearly not meant for you. And I kind of realized at a certain point that I was just creatively burnt out when it came to writing. And I kind of realized that I didn't necessarily want to do that anymore. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't bring myself to write. Even with Birchwood, this project I'd spent so much time on, I'd put hours and hours in the work. I'd edit during class when teachers weren't looking, you know, Everything just became real, but even with that, I couldn't, I couldn't edit. I really, I couldn't bring myself to write anymore. And so, I decided to call it quits. I decided to put it to rest, and I honestly felt super creatively blocked, and I had no ideas with basically how to proceed with Birchwood or any of my other projects, so they kind of just went on hold. Yeah, I kind of was just in a creative lull, to say, this, to say the least. So I kind of just let it be. But here's the thing. I feel like Birchwood... Birchwood needs an ending, don't you? Like, I feel like, I feel like this is a story that needs to be heard by people. Um, you know that feeling when you have a story or like an artwork or a song or like something creative and you want to, get, you need to get it out to the world. Like, I've wanted people to hear this story for years, right? This is a story that's just lived in my head rent free for years. I want people to to see it or something or hear it or I don't know. And yes, it was written to be a TV show, but maybe it can be something else. Like, I don't know. Can it take a life of its own? <laughs> and don't get me wrong though. Like I, I love the podcast and the podcast has literally just been life changing. Honestly, uh, it's been one of my favorite things to do recently. And I've just dedicated most of my free time to this. And I honestly just love it to death. And uh, you think this is the ending? Hell no, hell no. This this podcast is an ending, guys. This podcast will not end for a long, 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 long time. Uh, if y'all thought this was the end, like, guys, come on. Uh, I ain't getting out of here with just 10 subscribers on YouTube. All right, I need at least 20. I don't know. Um, but no, I'm trying to figure out how to kind of get Birchwood into the world, you know? Uh, and honestly, I'm working on it right now. I really am. Uh, one of my 2021 goals that I didn't officially write down on a piece of paper was to make Birchwood heard by the people. Uh, and I didn't want to, I, and I want people to hear it, you know? Uh, so I guess I've gotten back into writing uh, in some sort of way. Uh, but this time it's different. Uh, this doesn't need to be filmed, or but it needs to be heard. Trust me. I'm telling you, this is about to be something you really haven't seen before. And something I haven't really seen before. Maybe you've seen it before, I don't know. But it's something really unconventional and super different. But I think it's going to be really cool. So stay tuned, guys. Because I got something really exciting coming out. Birchwood Avenue, Essential Questions. So yeah, I... I I, I really need a better title. I know, like, I really hyped it up at that point, but I, I really need to have a better title. Uh, but, yeah, it's going to come out sometime in March, I'm thinking, of this year. And uh, at least for the first episode, you know. I know it's a long way off, uh, but I've honestly been thinking about this for so long. You don't even know. Uh, and I feel like I had to share it with you guys and had to get it off my chest. So I really hope you guys are ex excited about seeing my writing or hearing my writing as much as I am. Um... And it's about to get lit as hell, I guess. Uh, <laughs> but uh, one more thing uh, for all my Bay Area listeners out there, which I guess is most of you. Uh, this one's for y'all, uh, honestly. Uh, this this uh, this uh, this Birchwood Avenue is for y'all. Uh, I think you guys are really gonna like it. So stay tuned. Uh, have a good day, good night, good afternoon, whatever it is. Peace out. New podcast dropping soon. So stay tuned, guys.